John Donaldson, the man that's responsible for the most influence in government in history in America, as far as I'm concerned, there is no other family that was more influential than the Donaldsons, who became the family that President Andrew Jackson so desperately sought as he came through the frontier after being taken prisoner, becoming an orphan, and a POW to the English during the revolution and signifying the Irish disdain for the landlord and serf policies that created slaves of the Irish through the English and the famous potato famine. Uh, our people were nomads. Uh, some called us Celtics. Uh, we were people who took to the sea and ended up in Ireland. Uh, very proud Irish people who were doing our own uh, pursuit of liberty, if you will, and ended up uh, coming through all different channels to America and becoming part of the American Revolution. My family ended up in Franklin County, Virginia, uh, and became part of the House of Burgesses, which was the legislative committee for the original government body uh, for much of Virginia, the Carolinas, uh, the Cumberland Gap, they were responsible for a lot of the surveying done uh, and became an enemy of Indians. And so once they began to uh, seek other places, uh, not to stay in Virginia, John Donaldson loaded up his family, Rachel Stockley, and their children. And they went to North Carolina, and he began to survey, and so he had a lot of problems uh, when it came to being supported uh, with Indian issues. So he left, and he put his family uh, in carriages, and they went to the river, and uh, they navigated down the river uh, into Tennessee from the Appalachian Mountains. And once there, uh, one of his sons, Stockley Donaldson, stopped off and started a town called Crab Orchard, Tennessee. And that's where my grandpa was born, uh, just outside of Crab Orchard, Tennessee. Uh, my mother was born in a place called Rock Rockwood, Tennessee. Uh, Stockley's father went on to a place called Fort Nashboro with the rest of the children and his mother, uh, Rachel Stockley, and began to uh, create a governing body, uh, began to establish uh, commerce, and changed Fort Nashboro, Tennessee to a town uh, that we've all heard of today called Nashville, the home of country music. Uh, songs of the Appalachian people that touch and move all of us, uh, regardless of where we come from or any other issues. If you listen to a lot of the songs, it'll talk about overcoming challenges in life. And uh, it's a perfect way to pay tribute uh, to a lot of the sacrifices made by my family, the Donaldson, and my great-great-great-uncle, President Andrew Jackson. Our family was lucky enough uh, to have been pioneers. Uh, we played a significant part 
in the pioneer uh, days of Tennessee, uh, as well as Virginia. And we're able to uh, help support what became a political machine and a military machine in Andrew Jackson as he went uh, and pushed the English out in the War of 1812, bringing it to its conclusion and with authority. As he came back, his assistance was sought, uh, even though he had married my great-great-aunt, uh, Rachel Jackson. He was asked to go to Florida and did so and was able to settle the entire state of Florida and bring it into the United States of America. So once they seen his ability to complete task and the support that he had uh, from my family, the Donaldsons, and uh, the grit that this unified Irish-American family in the Donaldsons had with Jackson. They asked him to become the first president of the United States of America that would be called a Democrat. As he did, uh, he failed to win against uh, President Adams and on the second round, uh, took a very, very brutal campaign all the way to Washington, D.C. But in the process, my great-great-great-aunt died, Rachel Jackson. And she asked that her niece and nephew, who were married, uh, which was... Andrew Donaldson and Emily Donaldson go with him to support him and sit as the seventh first lady for President Jackson in Washington, D.C. Andrew Donaldson became the first, uh, what we now refer to as Secretary of State or Chief of Staff. And they changed Washington, D.C.'s dynamic and went on a campaign to change the way that we banked in the United States of America uh, and went to more of a centralized type banking system um, that would help the federal government to assist states that struggled and created a different way of looking at the financial backing of these new United States of America. And to be able to expand, uh, they entered into some controversial uh, political arenas, not the least of which was what do we do with the Native Americans. And uh, from all that you can read, it was a horrible time in America because as president, Andrew Jackson wanted to support the decisions of the states in the United States of America. And some of the states like Georgia wanted to eliminate the Indians and take their land. And it was met with revolt by Indians and they decided that they wanted to have their own sovereign nation, which wasn't feasible for the settlers, and they were killing the Indians. So Andrew Jackson drew up a piece of legislation that he thought could probably assist in the preservation of the sovereign nation of the Indians, especially the Cherokee, uh, which were heavy in the East coast area and Tennessee and so he decided that in the best interest of the United States of America and the best interest of preserving the Native Americans that they would need to be relocated to a place 
uh, in Oklahoma and began what they called the Threat of Fear. It was a horrible time in America. There were horrible decisions that had to be made in the evolution of what we know today as the greatest country in the world. The sacrifices by the American Indian are second to none in the history of the United States of America because we almost eradicated their people. It's hard to find reservations out in the East Coast. There are several out on the West Coast on the other side of the Mississippi River due to the fact that the federal government through Andrew Jackson was able to create places for them to have sovereign nations of their own. And it really was the only way that it worked in the eyes of the government, which was headed up by my great-great-uncle, Andrew Jackson. As time went on, uh, Andrew Jackson left the White House, having had three Donaldson women serve as First Ladies, which was his wife, Rachel Jackson, who died before he arrived to Washington. Emily Donaldson, who served six years of his eight years as president, and the final two years were served by Sarah Yorkey Jackson, who was also a Donaldson. And so that is an amazing feat in American politics, especially if you factor in Andrew Donaldson's continuation into being invited to be the first uh, or the uh, vice president of President Tyler and uh, asked to serve on councils and government positions to help establish the state of Texas, uh, which seals off uh, from the Atlantic to the Pacific, the South, and the borders, being influenced by this family of surveyors and politician-based uh, people, which was probably the most influential family in American history as far as being Irish American and being able to establish the new democracy that we appreciate so much today. Uh, I've posted a lot of the first below in an article to let you know about the pioneers, the Donaldson's 